Hey everybody, this is Eddie Amber coming at you with another episode of You Don't Know Jack. 30 seconds to places. 30 seconds. They call me Donnie. Please to inform me of the number of players. What? Just There's... you. That's not surprising. Go ahead and enter your name. Oh. Perfect. We're almost at go. 10 seconds. Catch you on the flap side. Give me an afterlife check. Ooh. Six. Five. Go to black. Four. Three. W E O B. The Asylum. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and if you say my name three times into a mirror, Scott Bayo will appear and kick you in the shins. Uh, yeah, sure. A single player game, I see. Yeah, thanks for making us go through all the effort. Ah, uh, another problem. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Jack's bald caps and hairless knickknacks. Because if you actually shaved your hair off, you might find something weird under there. Try to choose oh, the fuck. wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> and we're off. So I'm looking for ba um, bald caps and knickknacks. Okay, to get Got things it. started, assassinate gate. Okay, I've had it. Every scandal since Watergate is called something or other gate. Monica gate, nipple gate, stripper gate, Henry Louis Gates gate. Enough! It's time to throw down the gauntlet, people! Are you with me? <laughs> Suppose I start a task force to remove the suffix gate from all new writing before it gets published. If I stupidly get caught up in my own scandal, what would it be called? Abnegate gate gate, abrogate gate gate, expurgate gate gate, or circumnavigate gate gate. <laughs> Close, but not quite. To abrogate is to officially abolish or repeal something. Abnegate. So if the current score were an existing law, I might do this. Abnegate. Ah! Why didn't you pick this? To expurgate is to edit out offensive material before it gets published. So ironically, in my effort to expurgate gates, my pathetic scandal would be called expurgate gate gate. Oh boy. And you know, it would have something to do with hookers. But who the hell would leak it to the public? Well, I'd have to investigate. <laughs> Let's Nothing ever Doogie interesting happened to the MD. numbers yet. If Dr. Frankenstein's monster had spoken very casually, how might he have addressed the doctor with his first words? Theo, what's up? Hey, Victor, nice left. The doctor from Mary Shelley's classic novel was Is named Victor. Victor Frankenstein. Another little known fact, Bram Stoker's famous vampire is actually named Count Derek it's probably, Dracula. Um, the brain was probably the wrong answer. Here's a good one. Because they both had Sin City. to have to do with the head. And oh, for the love of... I'm going to read off seven words, and for each one, tell me if it's a word from the Garden of Eden story in the Bible, a Las Vegas nightclub, or both. Oh, if it's from the Garden of Eden story, press one. If it's a Vegas club, press two. And, ah, you're familiar with the dis or dat. Perfect. Pure. Eve. Wait, what? Plus. Naked. Sweat. Rain. Oh, fake. I took some of Adam's ribs to perform general ribbing on you. <coughs> they say Vegas is Sin City, but I think it'd be difficult for the devil to tempt somebody with an apple in Vegas. He'd have to wait in line for an hour to get it off the buffet. Here's one I like to call Misters of the Universe. Which mister has a missus? Mr. Clean, Mr. Big, Mr. Echo, or Mr. T? Mr. T? I pity you, fool! No, wait, no, I don't. <sighs> it's so obvious. Although the others are bachelors, Sex in the City's Mr. Big has been married a couple of times, most recently to Carrie Bradshaw. Uh, I was thinking... Also married was Mr. Rogers. You never saw his wife on the show, but he always insisted that we just missed her. Uh, embarrassing as it sounds, I th thinking that he was talking about Mr. Big the Chocolate Bar. 
If the rival mob on The Sopranos consisted of an all-female group with extremely low voices, what would they be called? The Basso Profundo family? The Baritone Gang? The Contralto Mob? Stop serenading me with your nonsense. <sighs> Next time, try this. Contraltos are female singers with the lowest voices. Like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally a dude. That's the end of a thrilling first round of where you pretty much crapped your pants. Yeah. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. All right. Oh, wait, let's get going. Because Mr. Clean was, well, bald. Here's one for you. My housewife is a fake. I've been watching these Real Housewives shows on Bravo. I've noticed something about the opening credits of these shows, though. The cast is always holding some kind of fruit. The Real Housewives of Orange County are holding oranges. The Real Housewives of New York are holding apples. The Atlanta Housewives are holding peaches. But during the opening credits of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, the Housewives aren't holding anything. WTF! Considering the state fruit of New Jersey, what should they be holding? Bananas and leopard print tops? Strawberries and garbage bags? Kiwis and Sopranos DVDs? Or blueberries and spray tan? Um... Maybe there's a visa. Banano! Uh, Here's where the money is. New Jersey's state fruit is the blueberry. And their state animal is the Snooky. Question Say hello to the stuff you find under the bleachers. It's time for us to see what kind of trash somebody sent in today. Look at the trash bag. Oh, yeah. What does it say about Bunk you crash. Okay, what do we have here? We've got some dry cleaning slips for a Robinson 42 uniform, a subway map of Brooklyn dated 1958, and some old postcards of Ebbets Field. Which professional baseball franchise sent in this garbage? Uh. Kansas City Royals, Los Angeles Dodgers, Boston Red Sox, or Milwaukee Brewers? Come on, everyone knows the Red Sox don't throw away anything. In fact, when something becomes useless, they'll usually buy it for 13 million. <laughs> Why didn't you pick this? Jackie Robinson crossed the color barrier for the Brooklyn Dodgers at Ebbets Field in 1947. 11 years later, the franchise moved to Los Angeles. The Dodgers moved to LA to sell their screenplay, but ended up just waiting tables and doing a couple of weird fetish films. Wow, I'm sucking. This one's called Priceless Art. I have a coupon for that. Suppose Campbell's produces a line of tomato soups commemorating pop artist Andy Warhol. Based on his philosophy on fame, what might the expiration date read? Consume one second after opening, best within 15 minutes of purchase, stays frozen for 24 hours, or reheat leftovers for a lifetime. Andy Warhol is known for his statement, in the future, everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes. And now everybody just says 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. Which, as we know now, is really a silly statement, considering YouTube's maximum upload limit is 10 minutes. I call hmm. this one... Beacon How long is this hood. video? If the blood I think it's about took litmus tests 13 and minutes levels matched their colors where would the crips end up on the scale highly alkaline mother highly acidic mother neutral mother or greasy mother this will burn a small hole through your I didn't store. even hear the question the here's uh, what a right answer looks like alkaline alkaline materials turn litmus paper blue and the crips color is blue I actually learned some complicated gang hand symbols. Ow! My fingers! Mother f***er! Help me, never let me go. And my dreaming <laughs> <laughs> Hi, something special. Any simpletons could never understand my food. 
As a deep and complex individual, I prefer to eat food that reflects that. Which of these complex foods contains complex sugars? An orange painting its feelings? A forlorn glass of milk? Pasta reading poetry about death? Or a chocolate bar contemplating existence? I think it's a chocolate bar because... You don't think, therefore you aren't. It's an orange Correct thing. answer, show yourself. Carbohydrates such as the starch found in pasta is a complex sugar. And trust me, pasta reading poetry is pretty moving. I nearly broke into tears when Penne get on stage and read his poem, Penne for my thoughts. Oh, the part about the Italian sausage was gut-wrenching. You know, normally I, well... My second answer is usually ah, right, you but the rules. Off you go. I don't if think you're I going guess. to travel through time, travel right. I've seen one version of your future. Hopefully you can change it. Good luck. Oh, back to DeLorean. Okay, I think we've already done something like this. Phone booth. Hot tub, t uh, well, hot tub. Doctor Who, the TARDIS. Oh, that was Tetris. The time Traveler's white is a boy. Star Trek, block hole. Land of the Lost. Space Time Vortex. And uh, Genetic Disorder. Hey, that was actually a quick. There it is! And I'm in the positive. Not bad, not great, but not bad. I actually scribbled down a number on this piece of paper before the game started, just guessing what I thought you'd get. Let's see if I was close. Hmm, apparently I just doodled a picture of a dog peeing on a laser gun. That's weird. You don't know Jack! Wah. Nice work, folks. Donnie, what's going on? All right, give me the hey sign if you're interested in more playage. And until next time, this is Eddie Ember signing out.